Oh, naja, gut. Gibst du mir dann wieder ein Tönchen, ne? She's the sun in September years. She hides behind the clouds of uncertainty. She seems to be a star from another. Lend me a hand. What a beautiful vocal ending to a shitty song. No, the I, I, st I stole it. Really? I stole it from Pink. Da, 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 da. Yes. I'm a heaven to myself. Don't let me get me. Don't want to be a friend anymore. Want to be somebody else. Won't let you get me. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I think Pink did it pretty. Yeah. You also got my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hey, uh, people, this is Campaign Like Clockwork with their amazingly beautiful song, something about... Don't Let Me Get Me. No, uh, it's, it's called She's Taking Me. That's a very pretty song. Played with the following instruments, Not That UK, but still. Um, we have... Not That UK. Not, <laughs> not That UK. <laughs> We're talking about Europe, Not That UK. <laughs> uh, God, it's, at some point it's going to get old, but hey, that's uh, you made your own bed. It's been two days. <laughs> Let's still make jokes about it. You know? Um, hey, on the left, we got <laughs> D'Angelico guitars, or D'Angelico guitars, or Angelico with D guitars. On the very, very left, Mr. Alexander Dimov is playing, or Dmov, or <laughs> Moff with a D. It's playing the Gramercy, which is actually a grand auditorium with Rosewood or Palisander in German, sides and back. The Fishman Inc. preamp with three-band EQ and a brilliant snob and included tuner. 
And it has brass, peggy little thingy holder things stick in the guitar. Breast holders. Br- br- not breast, brass. Brass holders. Brass guitar. No- what are the they, what are these things called? String? Guitars. No, string, strings. String pins. Pins. String pins. String pins. I don't know. So anyway, the exact same guitar is being played by Mr. Martin Gimser. Without the spring springs. With mahogany sides and back and under the name Mercer not Gramercy so they're the same model just one has rosewood one has mahogany same setup same uh, Fishman ink pickup same stair step same person playing it only looking differently <laughs> same same stair steppy Dangelico kind of uh, art deco design which you either have to like or not but they're great guitars hey how did you guys like those guitars sure. Very nice. It's nice. How did you guys like the Spring Springs? <laughs> We're going to ignore Rafael Cano, the guy who can sing but shouldn't talk guy from Campaign Like Clockwork. On the right to, uh, of me, on the right? No, I'm not, no, on the right. That's the other right, yes. <laughs> on the right. <laughs> right, right, right. Is uh, Paul Krummelbein playing, sadly, not a D'Angelico. What's that? I mean, sadly, I mean, hey, he's playing a good instrument. But D'Angelico, D'Angelico also has uh, an acoustic bass, which is called the... Uh, because I have no idea. Um, he's playing a an Ortega DC DC D3. Try to say that with a lisp. DC D3 C D. Wait. Okay. Um, there is a way to avoid the word enthusiasm if you've got a lisp, but try avoiding the word three. D. You have to say two plus one every time you want to say three. D two plus one. C, and then they still have a C with the disc. D, 3, C. The letter after B, you can say? 5. D, 3, C, 5. D, 3, D, 3, D, 3, D, 2 plus 1, letter after B, 5. D, D, 2 plus 1, letter after B, 5. From Ortega, beautiful wood. I don't know what wood that is, but it's pretty. It is. Uh, it has a pickup, which is what you heard. And uh, there's a TC Electronic Polytune clip on the top, which we're mentioning for no apparent reason other than that it's in the links below. I don't know. Everything you can find here in the links <laughs> no. is hidden somewhere underneath Henning's t-shirt. Um, just, oh God, that's my flag. Uh, why, why am I doing this? I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Stop hitting yourself. So in case you're interested. Why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> I wonder why he, why he didn't think of it earlier. <laughs> This is the first thing I would have done. In case you're interested in any of these instruments, please support me and my channel and my dogs by using the links below this video. <laughs> okay, I want to thank Campaign like Clockwork, uh, Steve from Angelico, uh, Mario von Helden, everyone at Face for being nice. Especially I want to thank Triad fucking Orbit for making these videos possible because right now, which you cannot see, we have seven cameras going. We have one, two, three, four. They, mi- people will probably have watched this video from seven different angles, so they know. But they don't. They don't count. Not that the people don't count, but they don't count the angles. Don't underestimate the power of the people. The power. <laughs> I think YouTube viewers can count up can, to can, seven. Can, may I finish my pitch? So anyway, Triad Orbit allows me to have seven different cameras, and they <laughs> which you all have counted before. Oh don't I please finish my pitch? And um, I don't know how many. Come on, who doesn't count cameras? Oh God! And a whole bunch of different mics. If there is a reason to watch Henning's videos, it can't be him. It has to be the number of cameras. Could you? Hello. So there's a lot of mics, a lot of cameras, a lot of lights going, and everything is possible through the magic of Triad Orbit. Can we please all agree that Triad Orbit is magical? Please, everyone it's in the room? Magical. It's yes, magical. It is. Whoa, Whoa, Triad Orbit. Woo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, thanks, uh, Herschel and Tim and everyone at Triad Orbit. Thanks, everyone at Face. We're out now, and those guys go watch soccer while I clean up the fucking mess. Bye, guys. <laughs>